what's happening everyone Eddie Martinez here with the recording connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson number eight basic microphone placement techniques we're going to go ahead and discuss getting audio into your DAW in a later video uh, but for right now let's go ahead and get set up okay guys so we're about to cover four topics in this video so remember to take plenty of notes let's go ahead and start by titling your notes at the top of your page lesson eight video notes and go ahead and put three bullet points on your page around four or five lines apart which is a good enough space for each topic so bullet point one should read basic techniques. Bullet point two should read stereo recordings. Bullet point three should uh, read surround sound recording techniques. And actually, you know what? There's going to be four bullet points on this one. The last one will be bullet point four, how to record surround sound. All right, then let's jump right into it. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cover some basic recording techniques. So here are some very common practices that professionals use all the time. Now when you record a sound, place the microphone at various distances and positions until you finally find the spot where you hear the des desired tones that you're looking for. Uh, if you don't like it, obviously what you want to do is try another position, try a different mic, or maybe even change the sound of the instrument itself. Now when you record, you may encounter some undesirable things like room acoustics or unwanted sounds. Now in these cases, what you want to do is place the microphone very close to the loudest part of the instrument or maybe even isolate the instrument so that you, you know, obviously pick up the desired sound that you're looking for. Let's go ahead and go over some microphone techniques. There's a few of them out there. The first thing we're going to talk about is stereo recording. So one of the most popular microphone techniques out there is stereo miking. This uses two or more microphones to create a stereo image that will often give depth or spatial placement to an instrument or the overall recording itself. Now, there are a number of different methods out there for stereo recording, but here are the most popular ones. There's three of them that we're going to talk about. AB recording, XY, and MS configurations. So the AB technique uses two cardioid or omnidirectional microphones spaced three to ten feet apart from each other. One, one of these microphones will be panned all the way to the left, the other one will be panned all the way to the right to capture the stereo image. Now, the drawback to AB recording is the potential to get some undesirable phase cancellation. So what you want to do is, as you're recording, do a couple of test recordings to make sure that this isn't occurring, and then adjust your, your setup situation to combat that. All right, so the next technique that we're going to go over right now is the XY technique. So the XY technique actually uses two cardioid microphones. Uh, both of them have to be the same type, same manufacturer, with both microphone capsules placed either as close as possible or at least within 12 inches of each other facing each other at an angle ranging from 90 degrees to 135 degrees. This really depends on the sound source and the particular sound desired. Now these pair of microphones are actually placed within the center of two mics facing directly at the sound source and pan left to right. Now let's go over the MS stereo technique. So the MS or mid sight stereo technique involves a cardio microphone element and a bi-directional mic element. Now these two microphones are usually housed in a single case or mounted in a coincident arrangement. The cardioid mic faces directly at the sound source and picks up primarily the on-axis sound, while the bi-directional mic faces left and right and picks up the off-axis sounds. Now those two sounds are actually combined via the MS matrix to give a variable controlled stereo image. By adjusting the level of mid versus side signals, a wider or more narrow image can be created without moving the microphones. Now this technique is completely mono-compatible and is widely used in broadcast and film applications. Alright everyone, so let's go ahead and jump into surround sound recording techniques. So first off, what is surround sound? Well surround sound utilizes many speakers in a 360 degree listening environment. Uh, I guess a very common way of thinking about it is Dolby 5.1 surround sound, where it uses five speakers, a subwoofer uh, for the lowest frequencies, placed all around a room to give you this 360 degree listening experience. So there's actually a few miking techniques that allows this to happen. So we're going to talk about three of them. We're going to talk about double MS technique, surround ambience array, and the spider mic array. All right, so we're going to go over the double MS technique. Now the double MS technique is an improved version of the very well-known MS technique uh, for recording stereo. Now in addition to a front-facing cardioid and figure eight side microphone, a rear-facing directional microphone is used in this setup. The front and rear microphones share the signal of the figure eight microphone to form two complete back-to-back -back MS systems. One MS system then provides the three front channels while the other system provides the two surround channels. 
An arrangement of this kind allows flexible processing of the stereo sound image and width and post-production adjustment for both MS pairs. Okay guys, let's go ahead and talk about surround ambient microphone array. Now this is actually one of the easier ways to record in surround. All that is needed is just four cardio microphones placed 90 degrees to each other around 21 to 25 centimeters apart. Using this technique, you can easily create a surround sound recording in many situations. Okay guys, let's go over the spider microphone array. In this microphone technique, you will need a special microphone mount with five arms that point out like a star. At the end of each arm point, there should be a condenser microphone pointing outwards. So if you have this very special microphone stand, it'd be very easy to create a surround sound recording in nearly any situation. So the last thing that we're going to talk about right now is how to record in surround sound. So recording in surround sound actually isn't too difficult. All you'll need to do is connect each microphone to individual channels. Then you would connect the audio mixer to your DAW and simultaneously record each instrument onto individual tracks at the same time. Now the last thing that you would need to do is use your DAW to adjust the recording in a way that recreates the physical space of the original recording environment. And that's how you record in surround sound. All right, everyone, that's all the video I have for you today. But if you're looking for a little bit more, don't forget to check out Music is My Oxygen for all the things that you love about music. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.